your X Factor finalists were revealed this weekend as Fleur, Ben and Andrea, which meant Lauren Platt was eliminated from the competition so close to the finals. I caught up with Lauren to find out all about her time on the show. Hello Lauren, lovely to meet you, I'm Ophelia. Oh, Hello. Nice How are you feeling after last night and the weekend? Um, I'm in a really good place actually. Um, I'm so excited to see what comes next, mm -hmm. to be honest. Yeah. And what was the highlight if you had to pick one moment of your whole time on the X Factor, what would it have been? This might sound silly, but one moment was basically the day we moved into the house, I remember all the contestants running up to the door, dragging like one million suitcases. <gasps> and I literally just stood at the door in front of everyone and just cried. Oh, did you? Yeah, and everyone was like, are you okay? And I was like, we're just going to have such a blast. Oh, bless you. And I just cried and cried and cried, and everyone was like, probably thought I was going to win. Oh, <laughs> just, just taking all in, just open yeah, up, I was just, you? I just looked at all, literally all of them, I was like, I love every single one of you, oh. and I was so excited. Oh, bless. And also, you know, being on the X Factor has not been that easy for your love life, has it? No. It's, it, well, it's not just the X Factor that's kind of affected it, and it's, the X Factor hasn't affected it in a, like, X Factor's destroying my yeah. love life, like, it's all coming out. It's more of a, this was mine and Liam's decision, mm -hmm. not the X Factor's right. decision. Like, um, we both just needed time, mm -hmm. and time, luckily, is one thing we do have on our mm -hmm. hands. So. Yeah, of course. And also, being in the sing-off, were you more worried about being in the sing-off with stereo kids where there was eight boys, than Andrea, you know, being the one person on his own? Um, when I was in the scene off with Stereo Kicks and I got through, I felt very, very lucky and very, very privileged to still be there. Um, especially as it went to deadlock and it was actually mm. the audience that kept me there. So I kind of found this acceptance with whatever happens now happens. Mm -hmm. And as long as I go out on a high, then I'll have the old man I can go out. So, oh. yeah. And did you find it more pressure being the only girl for, with Cheryl like, for the last couple of weeks? Um, it, it's obviously pressurising, but it was nice because I got one-to-one -one time with her and I got her full attention, which was great. So, yeah. What's she like? She's a diamond. She looks so adorable. She's an absolute gem, obviously. Oh. One of the most incredible women I've ever met in my life. Really keep in contact. Yeah, yeah definitely. Oh, the kids. And your little brother got to come on stage with you and dance. What was that like? Yeah, that was such an amazing experience. And it's it was like a dream come true because he will be like one of my dancers one day oh. if I ever make it. <laughs> and it was it was a great practice. Oh, I really go on Britain's Got Talent because Simon did say it's coming up soon. I'm sure he will. Oh. And it's going to be the first Christmas in six years that you're spending with your parents back together. How does that make yes. you feel? What an incredible year. Well, I'm just hoping I get to actually spend Christmas with them because it's quite busy at the moment. So, um, no, yeah, it'll be, it'll be really, really lovely for all of us. And what do you hope for the future now? I mean, you've got the tour coming up, but what do you want to do personally? Um... To be honest, that's a conversation that I need to sit down and have mm. with my management and have with the team that I've got around me now. Because obviously I only left the show last night and there's a million and one things running through your head when you leave the show. Like what's going to happen, am I going to be forgotten about, mm. like how hard do I need to work and stuff. And luckily I have the best manager in the whole entire world who's also like a best friend to me. Um, so I'm, I'm very, very excited. Oh, really, lovely. Yeah. And who would you like to win? Who's your winner? Um, I wouldn't necessarily like anybody to win, and I don't personally feel like they would need to win mm. to make it. I don't actually think that any of them need to win to make it. Um, I think they're all okay, and I have complete faith in them, but I do think they're okay now, will win. Oh, well, thank you very much, and I wish you all the best for the future. Stay tuned for more X Factor info from me, Ophelia, for Unreality TV.